The Netherlands is known for its fight against water. For generations, the Dutch have known that water can be both a friend and an enemy. This is Marjolein Haasnoot. Marjolein is a researcher in the field of water management and environmental modeling. She helps to develop future robust water policies. Because we don't know exactly what the future climate or society will be like. How much sea level rise can we expect? How extreme will rainfall be? Or will things actually get a lot drier? Nobody really knows the answer. Still, Mayulang believes that it is possible to make a water management plan that will prepare us for an uncertain future. I've developed an approach that helps people to make decisions in the face of uncertainties about the future. To help to decide what actions to take now and what to do later, so that we won't be surprised by high or low water levels. Most water management actions are large investments with often long-lived consequences for society. Therefore, they need to be robust, flexible or both. A robust action is insensitive to changing conditions. A flexible action can be easily adapted because of the low associated cost or because there are no major consequences for society. This is the map of the London Underground. Different colored lines show the route to your destination. Mayolang's approach is similar. It allows for planning a journey into the future through exploration of multiple routes, taking into account each route's costs and consequences. My approach helps to analyze different routes into the future. I call these adaptation pathways. Each adaptation pathway consists of a series of actions. If circumstances change along the way, you can change your route by switching or adding actions, so that you ultimately achieve your objective after all. Pathways differ in the actions taken, the moment at which these actions are taken, the resulting benefits and the required investments. Some pathways are robust, others are flexible. The ultimate choice depends on the stakeholders' preferences and the resources available. They have one thing in common. Each of the pathway results in a water management strategy that is effective at any point in time between now and the distant future, so that you are able to manage floods and droughts to ensure the right water conditions for living, agriculture, nature, industry and navigation. For example, imagine you need to keep a river navigable. In the future, dry periods may become more common as a result of climate change. This results in lower water levels. The question then becomes, what can we do to continue to use the rivers for navigation? We could use smaller vessels or dredge the navigation channel. These are various adaptation pathways. They all lead to the planned objective, keeping the river navigable. If you opt for the red route, that means replacing your fleet with small vessels. This is a robust option. You will achieve your objective in all explored futures, but it is expensive. If you opt for the green route, you will organize small-scale dredging, with the possibility to switch to large-scale dredging if and when required as a result of extreme climate change. Hence, this is a flexible measure. It also achieves the objective and it is not as expensive as the red option, but there are adverse side effects. If you decide to go down this road, you could introduce extra measures to mitigate these negative effects. This way, you can make an adaptable water management plan for different problems and objectives and map out the consequences. In the end, this results in options that can be included into an adaptable water management plan. The future is uncertain. Nobody knows exactly how our climate will change. Mayolain's approach helps to manage this uncertainty by exploring the range of possible futures. This facilitates decision-making about major investments that are required to manage our water for generations to come. <laughs>